last night I got a call had a feeling it would all be gone huh? hi guys I'm currently on my way to meet Joe we are going to this restaurant called Buna Sikdang I was a regular at that restaurant because it was near my old dorm and it was like the go-to restaurant for me whenever my friends came from the states like my favorite place to take them because they never fail just everything about that restaurant is perfect uh, the owner super nice so kind so generous he recently opened up his third restaurant so i've been wanting to go today i am making the trip to go there starting today they are implementing this new law where restaurants and cafes can't be open from 9 p.m. So well, I'm only gonna be able to hang out with her from like 6 to 9. That's what the situation is like here in Korea now. It's not level 3 yet, it's level 2.5. Oh, and this is the owner of the restaurant that I mentioned when I was talking about the room spray, the one that influenced me to buy it on Instagram. Now we're off of this beat and I'm spitting a cappella. Hey. Back in the day in school with the when I was younger We never skipped class We were living life waiting on the summer Yeah, we live so fast It's hard to see the seasons change That goes another What our life would be like uh, Back at my good old neighborhood I think Joe's gonna be here really soon too so. I missed this view Wow Fancy. Look at this. There's a rooftop here. There's a cute little map of this place. I actually see our old dorm from here. It's that white one right there. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Memories. Welcome back. I have a gift for you. <gasps> what is it? <gasps> Soft. That's such a cute tote bag. I know. I can have the tote bag too. Yes. For you. Oh my god! Yes. I have a scrunchie for you. <gasps> yes, I wanted this, the other colorful scrunchie. Yes, so cute. And then cushion and refill. <gasps> I lost my cushion, I don't know how. So, thank yes. you. Triarchy is the best. <gasps> this model. is so cute! It's like your hair color. Wow! <laughs> This show? It's very, very uh, subtle. Tommy, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, of course. But this place called Muna Shikdang, and they give us service because we came early. For Ashley, we have to get the omurice. <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> 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 Here, Triarche on the 14th floor. I'm going to be going to Joan's uh, skincare place today, I'm trying it out myself, and I'm super excited because I heard only good things from Joan. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <gasps> I haven't been to like a formal spa kind of place in so long. This is my favorite. So nice. gonna be getting quick peel today. They're gonna put like small needles into my skin. They're gonna plant the needles. They're gonna plant the needles into my skin so it helps fade my scars. And it helps with wrinkles and like your overall complexion. Mm. I live by this. Like, ever since we started wearing the masks every day, like my chin area, mm. my red spots all over. Wow. 
Wow. I look like I got a really bad suntan. <laughs> It'll be okay. I'm home from radio. I just took a shower and I'm about to apply some skincare. As you can see, my face is still really red and really bloated. You know when something really awkward and embarrassing happens to you and you feel your face burn up? That's how it feels right now, but permanently. And I could feel like the needles inside. When I touch it, it's really hot. I kept the toner in the fridge to cool it. She suggested that I apply the toner like five times. Ow, every time I pat it, it hurts. Last time. Ooh. And then I'm gonna use the Triorake Triorake recovery cream. Oh, it's so cooling. Ah. The surface of the skin has become way smoother. I just hope the redness and the bloating goes away soon. I the essence now. And last but not least, the laser cream. Ooh. I have radio twice tomorrow, once in the afternoon for a program called K-Pop In and my own show at night. It's Arirang Radio's 17th year anniversary tomorrow, so they're having a special episode with all the DJs. So I'm going to be on that show. I'll update you guys on my skin tomorrow morning when I wake up, but for now, I'm going to bed. Good night. Good morning guys, it is the day after I washed up, I actually applied all the skincare already and I'm about to put some makeup on I'm still very bloated but the overall redness, my face that was like heating up yesterday is gone so thank goodness for that Not only does my face look bloated, it feels bloated too like it's hard for me to like make facial expressions and it feels thicker too like my skin Anyways, funny story so I put my hair into curls yesterday because I wanted to do a curly hair look today and look at my hair I had a really good laugh this morning. I saw my hair and I was like cracking up and also I had the weirdest dream ever so I woke up kind of like flustered and then I unleashed my curls to see this disastrous <laughs> This part literally looks like noodles ramen noodles so I thought you know it'd be one of those like glamorous curls but I don't think I can have my hair down today. It looks pretty cute. Like, no, it looks weird. I should have just made two big po pigtails, but I actually divided in six different parts and I regret it. All right, I'm using the Triorike cushion. Did I get tanned? Making me look real pale right now. But my skin is glowing though. Yeah, so I had a dream that my friends and I, and my brother included, were coming back from BJ's. At BJ's, we ran into a worker who would poop on the floor. But then my brother in my dreams, he was like the little Tyler. It was Tyler from back when he was like in seventh grade. Just thinking about that makes my heart like... But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna get ready and make my way over to Arirang. Alright guys, I'm here. Let's go. <laughs> My next manager was downstairs for after school clubs. He came to say hi to me. Hi, Winters. Hello. <laughs> so, done with the live show now, and I'm in one of the booths uh, just working on my video. My workspace is really cool. Got my laptop here. Got all these controllers here, have the mic up there. Not that I'm using any of that, but it's very nice and quiet in here and the temperature is just perfect. Hey guys, so some updates on my skin. It's been two days since I got the quick peel. My face isn't burning up anymore, but it does itch a lot which is part of the process. I've just been trying not to scratch my face 
Besides that, my face has just been looking a little more yellow than usual, but they said that's normal because of the layers and layers of the yellow serum that they put into my skin. But once the new skin starts to come up, that will go away. But besides that, I'm seeing drastic improvement on the red spots that I had, especially over here on my cheeks. My left side of the face does have the least scars, but I feel like these ones right here, they faded a lot. And my chin too, like it's not as red as it was before. I am pretty impressed. I'm still gonna have to wait and see. It's gonna take like about a week for the new skin to come up. But so far, I'm very pleased. I'm continuing to use the Troyarike stuff. And I haven't really been wearing makeup just cause I have to wear the mask the entire time at radio too, so. There's really no point of putting any makeup on and I feel like that's been helping a lot too. So I am out of the shower and my face is now peeling. Yeah, I can't really tell through the camera, but basically my skin is peeling like when you get a sunburn. So update, it's been exactly a week since I got the quick peel and I just want to talk about how I feel after a week. So I am still kind of peeling here and there every time I wash my face. Overall, it's only been a week, but I am so pleasantly surprised at how my face is feeling. Most importantly, it feels healthier. So when I'm like touching my skin to put on lotion, I do feel like my skin is a little like stronger and thicker. And if you could see, like I had all these spots on my chin, they have faded a lot, definitely. Overall, my skin tone looks a little brighter. Not that I have become more pale, but just like my complexion looks more clear. So yeah, I mean, I feel like I have to go in a few more times to get rid of these acne scars and for my skin to recover quicker. But I am so satisfied after a week and this is definitely something that I want to do long term. My skin was just really sensitive and it just heated up a lot on the first two days I got it. But after that, besides the peeling and the kind of yellowness of my skin from the ample, there was nothing that bothered me too much. So I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, she said I have really dry skin so I need to like moisturize my face a lot but not with a moisturizer because what my skin needs is water so I've been putting five layers of toner every single day since I got the quick peel and I've already used up this much definitely love the quick peel and we'll go back for it again sometime soon maybe in like three weeks another thing a lot of you guys have been asking me about my hair how i've been maintaining this color for so long and honestly i have no freaking idea but i feel like the reason why this color is lasting so long is because she didn't use a regular hair dye she used a specific manicure she was really hesitant about telling me the brand of the hair manicure she used because she said you have to be really careful if you're doing it at home so that's why she left like this much it's not good Good for your scalp or your face if it does get on it it does come off but it takes a little longer to come off compared to regular hair dye so the brand's name is anthocyanin anthocyanin she used peppermint blue b3 and after two months it's still looking like this bottom is starting to fade into this like mint color which i don't really mind either kind of fancy it more essence i've just been putting a lot of essence like a lot and for the essence i talked about them before but i use sis liggy's hair ritual precious hair care oil i've been using this for more than a year now so i love this product those were the updates on my hair and my skin